Hi, this is Dr. Tom Reisler. I'm a plastic surgeon at South Florida Center for Cosmetic Surgery. And today I'll be discussing mastopexy, which is breast lift. What is mastopexy? Well, mastopexy or breast lift is reshaping of a breast from a saggy looking breast to a more youthful, perky looking breast. And the thing that's usually addressed is removing redundant skin and also placing the nipple in a more aesthetic, ideal location. Oftentimes, um, women's nipples enlarge with time or after a pregnancy, and that's a sign of aging. That size can also and usually is reduced during the procedure. Mastopexy does not change the volume of your breast, and if someone is seeking for more volume, such as upper pore vo uh, fullness or more of a full breast, then that can be augmented with a breast uh, implant as well, or other form of augmentation, such as fat transfer. An ideal candidate is someone who is conscious of their appearance, who finds that they don't feel like they have in the past, someone who is showing sign of aging or pregnancy. Another candidate that I normally see are massive weight loss patients who have a deflated looking breast and would like to have more of a younger, perky looking breasts. There are three types of mastopexy and they all involve different incision depending on the patient's habitus. And the one is called Benelli, where you make an incision all around the nipple. This is more uh, indicated for patients who have very minimal uh, droopy breasts and large nipple areolar complex. The only scar you're left with or the incision is around the nipple. And other types of um, mastopexy is called the lollipop incision, whereby you make an incision, like, just like the first one, around the nipple areolar complex, and you extend your incision down towards the natural crease of your um, breast. This is more um, tailored to patients with slightly more excess skin. And the final type is the anchor type incision, where I make my incision around the areola, down, like the lollipop, and I extend underneath the natural crease of your breast. This is usually reserved for patients with access with a, with a large redundant skin that needs to be resected in order to lift up the breast uh, and reshape the breast. Despite the extensive incision, you'll be surprised how well you heal and that within six to 12 months after surgery, these scars are almost invisible with proper uh, scar care, such as using silicone sheets and wearing surgical bra for the first six weeks after surgery in order to support the um, scar as it heals. I often meet patients who um, see me shortly after giving birth. So I normally wait for at least six months after giving birth or after the last date of um, breastfeeding as um, if I do perform the surgery sooner than that, then we can run into trouble where during the surgery there'll be spillage of uh, milk contents into the wound. With regards to breastfeeding after a mastopexy, the sensation to the nipple is usually preserved and um, whether or not the patient can breastfeed after the procedure depends on their ability to breastfeed in the first place, uh, regardless of having undergone the procedure. The real goal of the surgery is one is to remove redundant skin and put the breast in a more uh, anatomical and more youthful um, position. Also reducing the nipple areolar complex to a proportional size to the body habitus and improve the confidence of, of the patient. So mastopexy is a day, uh, same day surgery. You go home the same day with a surgical bra and some um, dressing. I will see you the following day to make sure everything is fine and to answer any questions. Following that, I will see you a week later still wearing the surgical bra and the dressing. And about 10 days after surgery, I highly recommend starting to use um, silicone sheets along the incision as that tends to help with the quality of the scar. And you're supposed to wear that for 24 hours a day for six weeks and you can only take it off when you shower. Um, I also recommend wearing a sports bra or a surgical bra for at least six weeks day and night in order to support the incisions and to reduce unnecessary tension over the uh, incision as that will improve the quality of the scar as it is supported. The patient may return back to full physical activity after six weeks after surgery, but up to then I would definitely avoid 
stretching your upper extremities as that can cause excess tension over the um, incisions. Sitting up in bed on a recliner for at least seven to 10 days also helps with the swelling. I would encourage you not to go and rush buying a new uh, lingerie wardrobe as the shape and size of your breast will change over the course of six months. And so I will wait for six months until you want to be properly fitted to a new uh, bra. Uh, patient may resume to full physical activity and workout after six weeks after surgery. This is how long it takes for the scar to be fully matured. Another important fact is to avoid uh, sun exposure. Even wearing a bathing suit, the sun rays can penetrate the fabric and can reach the incision. Any sunlight exposure to the incision can cause pigmentation changes. It takes up to about one year before you can really expose yourself to the sun. So in the meantime, if you're out in the sun wearing a bathing suit, I would highly recommend applying an occlusive tape along your incision as that will protect you from pigmentation changes along your incisions. And going to the pool or the beach is fine as soon as your incisions are well healed and that usually takes about uh, a week or two afterwards. I do see my patient after a week, a month after. The reason being that sometimes after four weeks the scar can be somewhat lumpy and if I catch it early I can definitely inject it with some steroids in order to soften out the um, scar and increase the healing process. The best way to maintain the result is one, post-operative care, as I discussed, wearing brow for six weeks after the surgery and wearing silicone sheets in order to improve um, scar quality. Um, if you maintain your weight and there's lack of fluctuation in your weight, that will also maintain the volume of your breast and will give you much longevity uh, for the results to last. Um, every individual is different. Everybody has different skin quality and some people age faster or slower than others. So I don't have a crystal ball to tell you how you will look in one, two or 10 years time, but certainly the procedure does not stop the aging process and gravity is our worst enemy. And inevitably patients do return for a um, revision if they feel it's appropriate. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle, eating well and exercising can also improve the skin quality uh, and, and will reduce uh, the stretching of the skin. If you find this video helpful and educational and you feel that you might be a good candidate for a breast lift, mastopexy, with or without an implant, please feel, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to meet you in person and discuss the options with you. Thank you. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.